Namaste, my dear friends. I'm seeing you after a long gap. Uh, today's topic of yoga will be shoulder and neck problem, neck pain. How can you remove shoulder and neck pains? There may be many reasons, maybe biological problem, maybe emotional, maybe stress. First try to find out your problem and then act accordingly. If it is stress and maybe some biological problem, I tell you some, I'll tell you some tips if you follow that make a part of your routine your life it will help you the first thing you have to do a very gentle rotation and it should be done very slowly each asana should be done at least three to four minutes with pause with a gap with a deep breath it should not be done in continuation because of the time constraint i'm doing it with fast so slowly when you inhale you go up while exhaling, come down, inhale up, exhale down, another side, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Even you can move, swing your head side to side. And then bring down. You can do back and forth motion. Upadhyaya Mudra. Upadhyaya Mudra is just like you are making heart shape here. So inhale, inhale, up, go up, look the ceiling through the heart and extend your hands as much as you can. Look up, bring, exhale, bring down here. Inhale, up and bring down. Do it four to five times. Make fist, your thumbs will be underneath your fingers and your hands will be fully straight and then move it like that, both sides. If you listen some cracking sound that shows that you have a vata problem. Inhale, see you have to open your shoulder blades, inhale, exhale here. Inhale, exhale here. Inhale up, exhale here. Do it slowly. You can clasp your fingers this way. If it is hard to do, you can do that way. And then inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Up, down. And you can move sideways. Even you can do this way. <clears throat> Clasp your fingers and you can keep it behind your neck and press it. Pull your hands forward and push your head backward. <clears throat> you can move your hands slowly this way but you can do it gently or you can do fast. And next thing what you can do is to press your head and hand just opposite to each other. And it should be done from all sides, from here, from here, from front and from back. So at least two minutes you have to spend for each. Hold it, press it tightly, exhale, release. Inhale, you can hold. Exhale, you can release. Inhale, you can hold. <clears throat> Exhale, you can release. Do it slowly. <clears throat> and when you hold your head this way, try to pull it up towards your shoulder and this hand will be extended. You are trying to catch hold of something. Even you can move your hand sideways, but extend it, it should be extended. Other side. And when you, the next thing you can do, when you inhale, 
try to look behind your shoulder. If you have really neck pain, it won't move that much, but take it slowly. Even you can hold with your hand. And then exhale. Next time if you try, it can go a bit more now because you got a bit more flexibility here. Inhale up. Tighten your shoulders, shoulder blades. And do shoulders rotation. Inhale, while inhaling, your shoulders will go close to your ears. Ex in back exhale, move it a big circle and then swap it. The next thing which is really important, suppose it's still, if your neck pain is still there, so main thing you can do in Makarasana means crocodile pose. You have to walk while inhaling move away like that. Extend your back and while exhaling you can come back. Do it very gently. If it is really severe neck pain you can't go more. Slowly come back. The next thing which is very important for your back, even this is good for your lower back. So you have to be in cat cow pose. Inhale, exhale, inhale, go up, exhale. The, the best asana for this is a lizard pose or you can say like puppy. So puppy, they put their chin here on the ground and the back will be making a dip and extend your body and stay there. And then come up. Take a deep breath. Suppose if you still have neck pain, there is another solution and that's very effective. If you lie down on any bed, any plane, maybe any solid surface and extend your head bit just a bit hanging and when it hangs here you stay there you can move gently side by side sideways you can move your head and you can stay for two to three minutes take a deep breath and relax this is very effective and I'll tell you some remedy the remedy for any type of pain is fenugreek powder. You can take fenugreek powder, you can take roasted fenugreek and then powder it at least 10 gram daily in the morning you take it with lukewarm water. The second thing you can do you can boil a clove of garlic in mustard oil and apply around your neck. You can keep warm now that's the end of neck and shoulder yoga. Hope to see you soon. Bye.